Hi viewers, welcome to the Nesk YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create notch cut in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Then click on create and OK and close this window. Okay, now we're going to create beam. So click on steer and select this beam and pick the first point at here and pick the second point to create beam like this okay now we're going to create channel at this location so click on this beam option and pick the first point and just give the direction don't click on it just place the cursor on on the grid at the middle position then enter the value how much length you require to create a channel so for example we're going to take one feet then type one feet on your keyboard then click on enter on your keyboard to create one feet length like this right click mouse interrupt by default we have i section here now we require channel so double click on this profile you can see by default we have w 16 by 40 but we require channel so click on here and minimize this i profile let's take here c profile and click on here let's take c8 by 11.5 select this profile c8 by 11.5 then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result like this now we're going to change the color so let's take here class 5 then click on modify like this now we're going to change this pos position of this point so let's take here left click on modify better to take right then click on modify to place like this you can see now this channel exactly at the edge of this beam now close this window now we're going to move this channel c profile one feet away from this grid so select this profile then right click on mouse move special linear click on clear then you can see in uh, we need to move in this direction means here you can see opposite y direction in the global axis so we need to enter here negative y direction so let's take here minus one feet let's take minus one feet then click on move you can see now this channel should be one feet away from this grid okay now we're going to check this distance so go to the plan plan view so Click on here window and select this view list and scroll it down. Let's take plan at elevation 0. Click on here and close this window. And you can see now you can check here from edge of this beam to this channel should be 1 feet. Okay. Uh, for checking this dimension, go to edit and click on here measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point at here and pick the second point edge of this angle channel. Click on here to place the dimension. You can see now from grid to this edge of this channel should be one feet. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now click on space, right click on mouse, do review uh, to remove this dimension, checking dimension. So go to 3D view. You can see now we need to create the chamfer between this uh, channel to I section profile at this location and uh, to rotate this view you can use this option click on view and select this option navigate and select this rotate with mouse and click on here and you can rotate like this okay by default these two these two profiles are conflict at this location now we're going to cut this portion at here with a notch cut component so go to the application components by using the shortcut ctrl f or you can click on here in search bar type notch click on enter you will get this component notch okay select this component notch then pick the main part as a beam and pick the secondary part as a this profile channel profile you can see by default we have this notch cut like this then right click on mouse interrupt close this window Click on space, right click on mouse review. Now use this navigation 
rotate with mouse you can see by default we have notch cut like this okay go to elevation along grid c uh, to better view so click on window and select this view list and let's take elevation on grid c click on here and close it and zoom it here you can see by default we have the notch cut like this okay now we're going to edit this notch cut as we required so double click on this component symbol this cone symbol you can see by default we have one by eight inch between gap between this i section profile flange edge to channel edge here if you want to increase you can increase from here for example we're going to take here half inch then click on modify you can see now this spacing should be half inch now we're going to measure so click on edit and click on here measure and then select this horizontal distance and pick the first point at here if you are not getting the snap symbol at at this location you, you need to activate this option snap to geometry lines or points click on here you can see now this is activated so pick the first point at here and pick the second point at here and place the dimension at this location to see the display you can see half inch similarly you can adjust the spacing also from top of flange to edge of this channel so by default we have here one inch for example we're going to take here three by four inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now from top of this flange to edge of this channel should be three by four inch okay to measure this spacing then click on here measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point at here and pick the second point exactly perpendicular to this channel so place it here you can see now we have three by four inch according to this option okay now coming to this uh, fillet option you can control this fillet radius at this location you can see for example we're going to take here one by four inch fillet radius then click on modify you can see now this corner should be one by four inch radius of the fillet if you want to use the here the chamfer then click on here you can use the chamfer option then click on modify you can see now we have the chamfer like this if you don't require any chamfer or fillet then click on here and set the first option scroll it up and set this first option exactly corner without chamfer or fillet then click on modify you'll get like this similarly you can adjust the chamfer value at this location by default we have the one by two and a half inch of inch let's take here one by four inch and vertically also one by four then click on modify you can see now we have this uh, chamfer values uh, one by four inch and one by four inch okay if you want to create here the fillet then click on here and set this fillet option then click on modify you can see now this radius should be one by four inch fillet if you don't require any a fillet or chamfer at this corner then click on here and scroll it up and select this option without any fillet or chamfer then click on modify you can see you will get like this okay now coming to this weld option by default you have the welding symbol at this location click on window and select this 3d view you can see by default this channel is welded to this profile if you want to change this weld size or weld type then click on here weld and by default we have the 3 by 16 inch weld size here for example if you want to take half inch 3 by 4 inch let's take half inch then click on modify you can see now we have the weld size half inch by practically we are not going to take half inch here let's take here 1 by 4 inch then click on modify you can see now the well size is one by four inch you can see by default we have here the it is a side weld because this is a small piece is welded to this uh, beam at the site or you can weld at shop if you want to weld this portion at shop then you need to select here without flag option then click on modify this is the shop workshop weld if you want to weld this portion at the site then you need to select here with the flag option uh, this indicates the site weld then click on modify 
you can see this this color indicates the site weld okay then if you want to change this fillet option then click on here we have the different types of weld symbols at this location you can choose as you required from this list and then click on modify to update this result then click on modify apply ok right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw view ok now go to view and select this navigation you can see yeah, you will get notch cut like this between the two parts okay that's it about how to create notch cut in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you